Hi everyone, I'm Gary Baumgarten. Many of you know me as Reporter Gary, and I'm here at the entrance to Columbia University with graduate student Lexa Shore. And the reason I am interviewing Lexa is because you are a bit of an anomaly here at Columbia. You are an avowed supporter of Donald Trump, and this has affected your relationships with your fellow students and maybe more importantly with your professors. What's going on in the classrooms that you find so distasteful? You know, Gary, I feel like in the classrooms, the professors are really putting down um, anyone who has that conservative standpoint or anyone that's in support of, you know, President Trump. Um, and just It makes a very hostile environment, and I just don't think that's conducive for learning. Um, it's just not a nice feeling to have when sitting in the classroom. Now, I understand you, you're not a political science major. You're in you're studying the brain basically so how do they work the politics into your field of study you know Gary I feel like they'll, they try any way to um, find a way to bash um, President Trump for example in one of my classes we were examining three different MRI scans of, of three different brains and the professor looked at one of the brains and said oh you know this person has a by looking at the the analysis and all the numbers that this um, patient has a lower cognitive ability than the others like Donald Trump and everyone starts laughing and oh you know what a great joke haha -ha. and I'm just sitting in the back of the classroom silent and reserved and thinking you know this is this is not right um, it's just very distasteful um, it's not fair for people who have you know a supporting view of Donald Trump now for the record your professor never examined the president no, he never examined the president. Yeah, I know that's obvious, but I just wanted it for the record. So what would happen if you decided to stand up and say, now, wait a minute, professor, and challenge him? You know, Gary, I feel like if I did that, um, I, I would be scared. You know, I think he would say something um, mean to me. And who knows if the students will do something to me. It, it, it does make me feel scared and uncomfortable. Are you fearful of academic retribution if you take a contrary stance? Oh, absolutely. You know, I feel that um, they, the professor would fail me. Um, I 100% feel that. So I asked the university about this before we did the interview, and they said that their core philosophy is to promote a discourse and even controversy, and I guess I can understand that. But the second question I asked that was not directly answered, and this was an email exchange, was, uh, well, what if a student such as yourself feels intimidated and fearful of retribution, whether real or perceived, what recourse has she? Do you have recourse? You know, I, I feel that we, we just have no say in anything. Um, it's, it's a lose-lose situation. Um, and, you know, I don't think the university will comment on that. Um, it's just a very, they take a very liberal standpoint, and I just don't see any hope for us. From some of our previous reporting, it seems obvious to me, and perhaps your observations are similar, that this is not an issue that's uh, unique to Columbia. This is a global issue, or at least uh, across the United States, an issue where certain points of view are not welcomed on certain campuses. Absolutely. You know, I think if you look at all the campuses in the U.S. and even, I mean, we're living in New York City, like, you have to watch what you say, which is ridiculous. Like, we don't have the freedom to express ourselves. Like, we're not allowed to have our own opinion. And that's what America was built on. You know, we all can have the freedom to have our own opinions, and we should be respectful. And there's just, Gary, there's a loss of respect, and it's very sad to see. You wouldn't feel comfortable wearing a MAGA hat on the Upper West Side? Absolutely not, and I own one. <laughs> Lexa, you're, you're terrific. Lexa Shore, I appreciate the interview. Folks, if you like the interview, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, although I can't imagine why you would. Well, maybe some people who don't agree with your point of view will. Uh, comment below whether you agree with uh, Lexa or not, and um, feel free to subscribe. And uh, until next time, peace out.